darkness, our ancient enemy. Foretold by many they came, as the war mind warned us they would. They were confronted with fire, and when that failed, met with intrigue among the bones of Io's last monument to the light. It promised us power, and for it, a price was paid. A law holds the system, though it is not emptiness that gives us pause. Yet not all is lost. Stand, Guardian. Brandish your light and join the hunt. Zavala, this is Osiris. I promised you updates, so... There's not much to tell. Mercury, Mars, Io, and Titan are gone. With that in mind, I wanted to give you the gift of perspective. I'm sending you an artifact, long kept in the care of my followers. It is of hive origin, a fang of Zivoir Wrath, sister to the Taken King, Oryx. The traveler may have reformed. Until it acts, understanding the darkness is our best chance of defeating it. Perhaps in this relic there is a real, tangible hope. Not just empty promises. I needed to put some distance between myself and Earth. So I headed to the Dreaming City. The city itself is still caught in its curse loop. Does ever be able to undo the damage that Taken caused here. Unsurprisingly, Petra remains useless. She doesn't know where her queen is. And that leaves us with fewer allies than ever. Oh, and, uh... Let's say... No, I found a letter hid in my ship. Tell him, uh... No, never mind. I'll tell him myself. I came back to the tower, but you were in a meeting with Ikora, so I went to see how Anna's work with Rasputin is progressing. She's made several failed attempts at importing his consciousness into the body of a dead exo. Anna has a brilliant mind, but she's squandering herself trying to salvage the remains of that Golden Age tyrant. She should put her talents towards something more productive. Maybe I'm just bitter. Hmm. The orbital path of Nessus has changed. Likely due to the sudden disappearance of the Leviathan. I could not find any evidence of the ship or Callus himself on long-range scans. But remnants of the Cabal still linger. According to the intercepted transmissions, Callus' daughter, Keitel, is trying to rally what's left of the Red Legion. As if we didn't have enough problems. I'd gone to the reef, hoping to find insight into Kaito's agenda among the Cabal there. Instead, I found something else. There's a... a strange new presence here. It grows as an organic technology, like a, a small tower. There are Cabal gathered around it, enraptured by something I could not perceive. Perhaps their own desperation or, or madness. A long-range scan of the structure was inconclusive, save for confirming it was of hive origin. I need to determine whether it is just delusion attracting the Cabal, or something more. Every day there is some new horror. I stayed in the reef to further observe those hive-enraptured Cabal. They did not rest simply spent hours kneeling before the structure. Sometimes they screamed, other times they cried, but mostly they were just silent. They left come morning, wandering out to the fringes of the shore. I decided to examine the structure more closely. But I'm certain I heard something calling to me, beckoning. Sagiro convinced me not to perform any further investigation for the time being. It's dark out here. I sometimes forget how isolating deep space is. 
I'm on my way back to Earth, but it will be at least one more day. I wonder how Saint is doing in my absence. I worry about him. About how well he's adjusting. How he blames himself for all this. He has such a big heart. Perhaps if we hadn't meddled with history, none of this would have happened. Sagira initiated a long-range scan as we were entering Earth's orbit, looking for signs of that same hive structure we discovered at the reef. Call it intuition. There are more of them on the moon. I went to speak to Eris to seek her counsel as an expert on the hive's witchcraft, but I could not find her. Perhaps you know where she is? I just had the most interesting conversation with our friend Spider back out in the reef. Not only did he already know about these hive structures, but he's found others on the tangled shore that my scanners missed. He claims some of his agents have gone missing, and there are rumors of disappearances among the houseless fallen as well. Zagira so patched into local cabal communications. Keitel's scouts noted unsettling discoveries among the Red Legion stranded in the system. Entire encampments abandoned evidence of internal conflict, mass graves. Whatever is going on with these hive towers, we need an answer. Yes, I'm going to Saturn. I may have a way to find it within the derelict hulk of Oryx's dreadnought. Tell Saint he's missed. It was a success. I was able to reverse engineer the hive's organic communication systems within the dreadnought. I directly interfaced with their network of collective consciousness. The things I learned, Zavala. The things I learned. The hive is fractured, shattered, turned on itself. The Black Fleet intends to punish Zavathun for interfering with its efforts to communicate with us. No one knows where the Witch Queen is, not even her own court. And now Zivu Arath is using this opportunity to consolidate her power. I will return to the Reef tomorrow to confer once more with Spider. He says he has news for me. As distasteful as Spider may be, his information network is vast and uh, surprisingly well researched. According to his people, the hive structures are called cryptoliths. They spread like the roots of a tree and bore into our dimension. No word yet on their point of origin. Spider claims to have his best man on it, but well, Sagira and I have our own suspicions. Zavala, I am presently en route to the moon to search for more information on the cryptoliths. Sagira and I are going to touch down and investigate. To all corners of the system, I've emptied the armories on the fringe, sent Corsair warship fleets, deployed harbingers, and yet, the Black Fleet persists. I know what it's taken from you, Petra. I've been away too long, and for that, I apologize. Your compassion and leadership have been a boon to me and our people. This all started with the Dreaming City. I shall return to finish it. <sighs> Savathun will be waiting. If anyone is listening, then... Zagira is... She sacrificed herself to save me. From them. From the high. I'm tracking the creature responsible for Sagira's death. I will find it. I will end it. Zavala, I need you to send the young wolf to the following coordinates. I won't wait. Guardian, we have a developing situation that I need you to take point on. For the past few weeks, 
Osiris has been trying to assess the damage caused by the return of the darkness. He believes that Zivu Arath, the Hive God of War, seeks to take advantage of the power vacuum left in its wake. Osiris was investigating physical manifestations of her magic near the Scarlet Keep when his ghost, Sigiro, was slain. Osiris delivered a message through a secure channel requesting that you personally aid him in this hunt. He's desperate, Guardian. I need you to save him from himself. I'm... I'm worried about Osiris. If Sagira's gone, then... Don't worry about me. But keep your voice down. I'm using an external comm. I thought I was hunting Sagira's killer. The High Celebrant of Zewa Wrath. But now I think it's hunting me. Your friend is in a lot of danger. Meet me in the Hall of Wisdom. Who are you? He cut the transmission. We have to hurry. A concerned ghost. Osiris shouldn't be here, especially in his condition. We appreciate the warning, but we know what we're doing. If you and your guardian are here to help. My guardian, right. Osiris, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. I'm luring the high celebrant to the Shrine of Oryx. There. There. Break the barrier. I think it knows you're here. It's trying to keep us separated. That night is radiant with strange energy. It has to be the High Celebrant, the one that killed Sergei. Osiris, we're here. We'll get that barrier down. Your ghost close, God. Osiris, it's heading your way. Good. I've retreated deeper into the shrine. I think this may have been a trap. The tower you saw on the way in. That's a hive cryptolith. It's a conduit of darkness. One of many. The High Celebrant is using them to deploy soldiers across dimensions and tempt others to Sivu Arath's side. If I don't make it out of this, I want you to tell Saint. Tell him yourself. Guardian, making up multiple hive signatures headed Osiris's way. We're closing in, but facing heavy resistance. You're here! Finally! Is it done? Uh, uh, calm down to you! Oh! Osiris! We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here. Especially for the ghostless. And... I'm glad to see we're all okay, though. I'm glad, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Go on. Introduce yourself. They call me... The Crow. My boss wants to see you. Impossible. I told you to bring me the warlock Osiris. Explain yourself. Osiris lost his ghost. He's gone back to the tower to recover. You light mockers never cease to amaze me. You deal violent so easily and suffer loss so poorly. And such fragile killers. We'll finish what he started. And what's that? Hmm? Avenge, Sagira. Eliminate the High Celebrant. I had it in my sights. If your friend hadn't needed saving. You forget your place, little bird. My apologies, Baron. Now then. Perhaps we can help each other out, eh? I know how accomplished you are at exacting revenge. Sivorath 
is using her high celebrant and those damn cryptolids to corrupt Elixni. Cabal, too. But I'm losing soldiers and glimmer by the skiff load. That's right. I know what Osiris was doing on the moon. I also know you'll fare far better given the uh, proper motivation. Leave us, Crow. The Guardian and I have terms to discuss. My little bird sure is something, isn't it? I have to imagine you share in my appreciation of fate's cruel sense of humor. I found him wandering the reef like a piece of wind-blown trash. Aimless, hopeless, no memory of the prince he was. Now, I could have sent him off to the tower, but we all know what's waiting for him there. I couldn't let that happen, so I took him in as a kindness. As far as his loyalty is concerned, I took a few extra precautions and made some modifications to his ghost's shell. Now, if he ever flies too far from the nest... <sighs> Boom! That ugly business out of the way. Let's focus on what really matters. This hive infestation. I propose a partnership. You go out there and do what it is you do best, and I'll uh, lend you the resources you need to get it done. Maybe even a little extra something on the side. <laughs> Just don't mention the name Aldrin Soth. For his sake. The reef's sky has holes in it, and the whole system's in chaos. Of course, Zivo Arath decided now was the right time to corrupt herself and army. We call them Wrathborn. Most of them are elixni like Spider. Others... Well... Spider wants the lines of Glimmer open, High God or not. Ask me to help you deal with Zivu Arath's High Celebrant. Apparently, the Guardians of the Last City are old friends of mine. But... I don't remember you. I found some Hive artifacts gathering dust in Spider's Trove, and fashioned them into a lure. Wrathborn go crazy for them. When they take the bait. I wish there was some other way. But her magic's driven them mad. Hunting them down is the only way to weaken Zivu Arath's grip on the shore. Like Spider says, Violence is the only language the Hive understand. For now we can start small, work our way up her command chain. When we reach the High Celebrant, we'll take it down. Stop Zivo Arath from corrupting anyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but it's... nice to be working with another Light Bearer. Zivo Arath's stench permeates this entire area. Not for long. Crush and follow us. Make them think twice about flaunting their presence on the shore. It's running from the cryptolith. What should we do? It'll return at full strength if we don't finish the job. Chase it down. Success. I hope Spider is impressed. I wouldn't bet on the Spider's kindness. With him, it's better to have leverage.
How can I hasten my crow's return to the nest? I'm glad your righteousness doesn't extend to commerce. Do you have a minute? Something's been going on and I'm... I've been having these strange dreams lately. Vivid. Real. Glint... Glint thinks there might be something to them. I'm flying. There's a green forest, mountains... European dead zone, I think. Sometimes the clouds part, and where there should be a bright blue sky, there's just... darkness. I'm free, soaring toward a distant pillar of light, but the dream always ends the same way. That light flickers like a candle flame and goes out. And then there's... nothing. I can't shake it. It's all I think about. Would you come with me? See if anything's there. This is it. The geography matches my dream exactly. There was a bird, or... I was a bird. Uh, sometimes it's hard to remember. I'll scout the high route. Can you take the lower path? Watch out for Taken up there. Savathun might be hiding, but her minions are active as ever. Do you remember anything else about your dream? Someone was calling to me, but I couldn't understand. It sounded like they were... under down a long tunnel. Then... nothing. Did... Did you just hear that? Affirmative. Did you notice the way the sound scatters? What? No, I... But that's... It resonated on the same frequency as the Traveler. That hawk. It was made of the light. It was real. The dream, the bird. I've got coverage on you from up here. I'll watch your back when you go in. Be careful. Ghost, can you patch Glint into your feed? I need to see what's in there. You're patched in. I don't understand how any of this is possible. Guardians don't experience visions of their past lives. But there are historic records from the Dark Age detailing visions experienced by survivors of the Collapse. What were the nature of these visions? They varied, but the most widely held belief is they came from the Dormant Traveler, like the survivors were experiencing it dreams, if it dreams. Whatever was calling to you in your dreams, Crow, it's in there. A piece of the Traveler. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Taken are so active here. Savathun? She knows about this. Has to. Taken! Out here too. We'll cover the entrance. I know this gun. It looks like Hawkmoon, or at least part of it. I thought it was lost forever when the Red Legion destroyed the tower. No, it's an effigy of Hawkmoon, made from the same material as the outer shell of the Traveler. This reminds me of the gift the Pyramid left us on Io, the one Eris transformed into a weapon. It's undeniably of the light. My dream. The bird, the voice, calling to me as the darkness closes in. It's not a coincidence. Are you suggesting the Traveler spoke to you? This may be the only way a paracausal entity, the Traveler, can communicate with us. Why me? I've always believed in my purpose as a ghost. We are all part of a broader design. Now that the Traveler is awake and whole again, that plan is set in motion. I don't know if I want to be somebody's cosmic plaything.
Hawk Moon is transforming before our eyes. Every step we take, it changes, grows stronger. On our way back from the EDZ, I remembered something else. A dream of a dream. You were carrying the effigy. It was simply radiant, charged with a power I've never felt before. We were taking it to the Shard of the Traveler, together, and then... I don't know what happens next, but we are going to find out. Guardian, the coordinates the Traveler sent us lead to the dam. It's overrun by Taken, but we're going deep inside. They're less active on those levels. I'll scout out the spots the Taken usually infest. Clear the path for you as best I can. Do you come out here often, Crow? Not as much since we met, but I used to when on assignment. It's quiet out here. No one to bother me. Or for me to bother. This feather both exists and doesn't exist. It's a manifestation of potential energy. The choice between action and inaction. Keep an eye out for Taken. That's exactly the sort of thing Savathun would love to get her spindly little hands on. Not to worry you or anything, but there's definitely something going on here. What he means is that we've picked up numerous paracausal readings throughout the dam. And a number of very agitated Taken. We'll handle Savathun's Taken, but the other energy signatures are closer to you. Can you look into it? Don't mind the mess. Glint's a terrible maid. This is just where I come to... get some distance when I need it. Some place to call my own. It's his crow's nest. It absolutely is not. I forgot this was here. My first memories are waking up under this shroud. The first thing that was mine. I didn't drink that by myself in case you were curious. It was comforting somehow. I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. Someone cared enough to lay me to rest. In fact, I didn't have any of it. After Glint brought me to life, I quickly came to realize that Guardians recognized me as whoever I was before. They... weren't always kind. <sighs> so I took to wearing a helmet to hide my face. Before a spider. Even then, I rescued a warlock and her ghost once. She offered me a drink afterward, but I left before she came back with it. I don't know why, but I returned for the empty bottle later. I've always wondered how she would have treated me if I'd stayed. If she saw my face. I've learned many things since my second birth. Fear. Humility. But this... This was where I learned pride. That sword belonged to the Hive Knight I killed to protect Osiris. It felt good, saving someone so important to the Vanguard. Someone who used to be an outcast. It was like I had finally found my purpose. Like I was brought back for a reason. And there you were, Guardian. Ah, oh, right. Glint gave this to me. It was a gift. It was the dawning. Your first dawning. The first time I ever felt like it might be safe to be around other Guardians. I'm not stupid. I know... the person I used to be, he did something terrible. I can feel it when people look into my eyes and see him. The way you looked at me when we met. I don't ever want to know him. Something's happening. I'm detecting massive gravity distortions in the dam. Little tip from upstairs. When these taken are destroyed, they'll collapse into singularities of paracausal energy. Use that to disrupt their shield. Taken activity here. It's going to be much more dangerous than last time. 
Good thing we're here to back you up. The Traveler is calling for us. Hawkmoon is resonating with the Shard. I think this is it. It's done. You're the Traveler, aren't you? Or you're a part of it. Of us. Paracausal energy readings are... My sensors are overloading. The Taken are trying to stop us from communing with the Traveler. Energy readings have normalized. The Hawk, it's gone. I'm not picking up anything either. Sabathun. Hawk Moon is whole again. Reborn. She can't take that from us. Eververse isn't just a title. Glad to see you're still in the fight. Welcome, my most productive guardian. Have you heard? The Crow reports our High Celebrant is finally within reach. He and the Warlock Osiris have used what you've learned on your hunts to track it to the Dreaming City. A hunter, exemplary, an emblematic paragon. It makes me wonder why I needed you. <laughs> I jest, of course. Though I have to admit, I carry some trepidation. My pet stands at your shoulder like an equal. Your encouragement makes him think himself a guardian. <laughs> the vanity. Do not let him so close, or spoil him with pretty dreams. Kill the High Celebrant. Break Zivorath's hold over my shore, and you can claim any prize in my lair as your reward. You'll have earned it. Remember, the Celebrant must be killed in the Ascended Plane. Destroy it, and you will deal Zivorath a crippling blow. Right. No Celebrant, no Cryptoliths. No Cryptoliths, no Wrathborn. Let's see her fight us without an army. Crow, are you there? Somewhat. I tracked the Celebrant through a portal into Swirling Darkness. A gateway to the Senate Plane. As I said, Swirling Darkness. I'm learning its tricks now, studying how it moves through these realms. It's like a shark cutting through black water. Keep an eye on it. I can do more than that. Ha! Tagged it. It's bleeding energy and on its way back to you. It fled back into the Ascendant Plane. But it left something behind. Told you I tagged it. That's residual energy. A blood trail. Destroy it, and the essences in your lure should reopen the portal. The 
celebrant seeks to bring more territory under Zigor Wrath's control. Be quick. She will not be pleased with trespassers. We made it through the portal back to the Dreaming City. No sign of the celebrant. Crow, where are you? At your coordinates, walking the other side of the same coin. The way I see it, as long as we're in both planes, it has nowhere to hide. Celebrant sighted. Do your thing. This isn't working. We can't truly damage the Celebrant without reclaimed light. Hold tight. I'm on it. We flushed them out of the Ascendant Plane and into the open. I just shot them until they ran, but I like the way you put it better. To think you can enter this plane using nothing but dead essences. Zivor Wrath strikes where Sabathun first pushed through the veil and entered the Dreaming City. Has she no ambition of her own? It stopped bleeding energy. We can't get through. I think the Celebrant realized we marked it. It sealed the portal behind itself. It trapped in here? Your companions are trapped in the Ascendant Plane with the Celebrant. And they are already lost. Like Sagira. The portal closed, but maybe there's enough hive magic left in the lure to activate some other way through. I hope you can hear this. The Celebrant turned it around on us. The Hunter becomes the Hunted. I wanted to... Listen, if things get ugly for us in here, just know it's not your fault. Everything I did, I did because I wanted to. Thank you for letting me have a choice. Crow, we're in the Ascendant Plane. Do you read us? Nothing in here I can't handle. What are you talking about? The Celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. The High Celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a plan. For Sagira. Are you keeping it busy? I'm merely at the portal where you came in. You're leaving? Like Osiris said, the Celebrant must die in the Ascendant Plane, and you're our best shot at making that happen. He's leaving. I survived by watching the world around me and learning from my light. I've studied how that thing creates those portals. Energy readings are spiking. It's going to create another portal. I'm in position on the other side. You're smoking it out, Guardian, but if I block the exit, it burns. Bro, the portal. I see it. Now, finish it. The High Celebrant of Zivu Arath is no more. How did you manage that? Crow destroyed its portal from the other side when it tried to escape. I knew he wouldn't really leave us. No, never. Oh, bring its head, would you? Spider will want proof when you come to collect. It's been an honor, Guardian. It's done. So it is. So it is. All right, Guardian. As promised, you can have a prized bauble from my lair as compensation for your heroics. I want him. <laughs> Cute. Real funny. You said anything in the room. <laughs> oh, and you really want my little bird? Fine. You can have him. Fly away. And get the hell out of my lair. Now what? I... I don't know. It doesn't feel real. Freedom. Why would you do this for us? 
because you're a guardian. Mm-hmm.